is important that we demonstrate as leaders to our supporters and to the country at large that we abhor political violence, any form of violence, that violence has no place in our politics. Yes, certainly. It doesn't have. Uh, I think in modern Jamaica, people our age yeah. don't want to see that whatsoever. And people from previous generations who went through it and experienced it definitely don't want to see yeah. violence. Jamaicans don't want to see violence in our politics. And I think the last election under my leadership was probably the most peaceful election we have had. And we would want to keep it that way, peaceful. Yes. Jamaicans want to exercise their right to vote peacefully. And that is the hallmark of our democracy. We are a democratic country. I want to express my sincere condolences to the families of both victims of this yes. crime that has been committed. Uh, when I heard the circumstances, I, I was deeply moved. I must say to you that um, the putting up of flags really is old time politics. That kind of thing we, we should try to avoid. It is not a strategy of the Jamaica Labour Party. I certainly have not pushed it, and I see where um, supporters have put up flags, but that's not a coordinated strategy. It does appear to be a coordinated strategy of the PNP whenever they have meetings, we see all the roads decked out in flags. I think it is now time for our leaders to say, it's petty, it's, it's, it, it doesn't win votes, um, and we don't want anybody to lose their, their lives over it. If you're going to give out any flags, my view is that you should give out the Jamaica flag. Well, exactly. my, my, my view is that we should, everybody, labor rights are comrades, PNP are JLP, no view or many views, can all unite around the Jamaica flag and respect it.